Aloha crafters, this is Mona again for another DIY. This DIY is for my co-workers who brought pictures of their dogs who attached it over to a display that I had out of a shower curtain that I bought from Amazon. First I made these embroidery hoop with pet sayings or pet pictures so they can take it or pick from which one they wanted and I made these photo tiles from my inkjet using water slide decals and I added the glitter. This is the shower curtain that I bought that I displayed at work. This is the embroidery hoop that I made the ornaments and this is the white water slides that I bought from Amazon. You will need to use the Mod Podge and I displayed them using these display stands that I bought from Amazon. I use this clear satin enamel. Here's the black glitter. You will cut the fabric six and a quarter by six and a quarter. There is the example of the three by three hoop size. I used my Cricut Joy to use this image, but I didn't use all of it because it was too hard to weed out. And you'll see the examples. I must have deleted some of the videos on what I did. So here's a video on one of the burlap hoops that I made. Just to show you an example. How you have to lay the fabric on top of the hoop just to see where you are going to put your design. The dog and the cat ornament that I did, it's kind of the same process where you have to just make sure everything fits within that size embroidery hoop, which is pretty small. So when I picked an image that had very small lettering for weeding, it was pretty difficult to do because the lettering was so tiny. It, it ripped out the center of words that I kept doing and doing and doing over again. And I got kind of frustrated um, trying to not pull out the pieces that are needed for the wording. Make sure when you pull over the other loop to go on top of it that you're pulling out the fabric to stretch it. And then once you do that, you're tightening up that screw that's on top. You pull it again as far as the fabric so then the fabric is taut. And what I did, I basically cut around the edge of there, but I saw another YouTube video that one of the girls used, actually a razor, and I did the same. It was easy. Now we're going to be working on the tile. Follow directions for the water slides. Take your Mod Podge and go around your photograph. You do not want to go and put Mod Podge on your image because you're going to get the glitter on top of it. So this is why you're carefully going around the image. So then all the glitter goes around the dog or the cat. Take a dry brush, brush away the glitter that went on the object. Carefully check that there is no empty spaces on the glitter, which there were. So everywhere that I felt needed a little bit more glitter, I added more Mod Podge. I started the process again added the glitter, took it off the excess, and checked it out again. I used the satin gloss after I was already done, but don't do that, especially on the black glitter. It becomes dull. So I ended up redoing everything and putting the glitter back. The white glitter was no problem. It worked fine with the satin gloss. Here is a permanent black marker that I added on the edges of all the tiles to finish it. As you see here, and in the back, I added the cork adhesive so then it would not scratch anything. Thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for more DIYs. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe. Aloha!